Beer sucker. We're drinking a spear out of Calgary, Alberta here. The Harvest High Hemp Ale, basically a pale ale with a stony fucking goat, man. Drinking out of a pilsner glass. So, I'm stringing up a, uh, a fucking, kind of a large uh, game fish, like a pike fishing, uh, pike, walleye, lake trout, whitefish, sturgeon, and I decided that I should string it up with 40 pound test line. So I'm going to try out the Berkeley 40 pound test and see what's going on. Maybe I should do a fishing video. Yeah, thumbs up if you think I should do a fishing video. I'm not going to do a 40 ounce Yacht Club video because the only thing gayer than that would be a vote for Justin Trudeau. And that ain't going to happen. And I advise you don't do it. They're not liberals. They're not libertarians. They're leftist commie scumbags. We're going to string that shit up. And this shit is thick. Look at that. Yeah, whatever. They they strung my shit up backwards at the store. When I bought this reel, they put on uh, Berkeley 15. And I don't think I'm a real big fan of the Berkeley line, although I bought this. Because I wanted 40 pound line and that was available. It has too much memory and it twists up and it, I got a lot of tangles. Of course, they strung it up backwards. And so I didn't realize I didn't use it right away. And then I had to like unwind the whole thing and then reel it back in. And so I had like memory to like being reeled up backwards. So it was all fucked. <laughs> anyway, I used it anyway. Still broke when I got my uh, my burbot rig snagged down on the rocks, which was two massive uh, steel washers uh, with a crankbait that was floating with two triple prong hooks on it with a with a minnow smelt. And then, so the crankbait floats about 10 inches up. And then the weights have to cast out there and get to the bottom for the bourbon, which is a fucking eel, a big fucking eel, a big green fucking eel. It comes along and eats fucking smelts in the middle of the night. And uh, I want to catch some because they taste like lobster. And they're a really impressive looking fish, I'll tell you. They look like a fucking salamander, but they're fucking huge. They're, they're mental. And, uh... Um, I, my goal is to kind of catch a 50 inch uh, pike that's over 25 pounds. So that's why I'm reeling this shit up with a uh, 40 pound test line. And I might accidentally catch a sturgeon. So, you know. Hey. I'm not liking this burgly. It's tangled. I'm just starting to reel this up and I'm getting uh, all kinds of twists. Man. Wow. I never had to reel up a uh, 40 pound test before. It's like it's like fencing wire. I think I'm gonna put on it down here and see if that helps. But uh, yeah, it's not. Uh, it's, not uh, it's twisting up real bad as I'm as I'm uh, spooling this up here. What does it look like I'm doing? 40 ounce yacht club, and it does. So it looks like I'm doing. Right? Yeah. Not gonna happen. Holy shit, the spool's full. Holy shit. That, uh, that's how thick the line is. Shit, this is a big reel, dude. This is the oversized, not a mega, not like a deep sea fishing reel, but it's it's above like a trout rod style reel. This is the Fluger oversized, uh, yeah. It's a nice reel. Uh, wow, I can't get all, why, I can't, well, See, I've never strung with a line this thick before. You're not going to get the distance. Uh, I mean, shit, that's not even a, that long of a cast. I mean, probably only... You're not going to get 100 yards of line on here like that. Wow. Oh, I can get a bit more on. More on. The beer is good. Well, if you want to string your reel up in a hurry. You can hear that too, so it's like thuck, 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 thuck. 
Okay, that's that's wound up enough. That's overwound. So uh, yeah, you string it up in no time. Well, the good news is if you buy 40 pound test, you can string like 15 reels up with it because uh, you can only get about 30 yards of line on it. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna catch some monsters, and if I do, maybe I'll put them on the channel. Uh, 50 inch pikes are the going for a lot of them slimy fucking bourbon eels and uh, whitefish, you know. Uh, whitefish is an underrated fish. Uh, mountain whitefish, if you want to have a hell of a fight on your hands, mountain whitefish is one strong fucking fish. You'll see them in like waterfalls and spillways and they just sit there and they fight like, I mean like a four, a four or five pound mountain whitefish fights like a 15 pound trout or something like it's incredible. So I might be going for some whitefish just for shits and giggles. Um, like I said, bourbon, massive pike, walleye, of course, would be nice. Uh, rainbows, but the, it's been a bad year. It's been a bad year. A lot of winter kill. A lot of environmental catastrophes. The beer's good. It's not. It's not as hempy as some hemp beers. It's not real. It's real nutty. It's not real nutty. Very refreshing. It's actually really light. It's 6.5%. It's a really good drinking IPA and it was a good deal. And I don't drink a lot of beers from Wild Rose all the time, but they do make a pretty decent IPA. And a few beers and they're not, they're not a horrible brewery or nothing. And this, this is a good beer. I would recommend drinking this beer. If you, uh, you want to give it a shot. For try. Boatman. <laughs>